Hi there, Carl Massey here, founder of worldsbiggestgym.com and creator of the results focus, Taylor made the life case training course for health, fitness and wellness professionals and welcome to week three of our mini life coach training course where we teach you, we, me, myself and I, teach you some great techniques, tips and strategies that you can use with your clients today, the moment you get off this um, or finish watching this training video with me um, to help take your clients to the next level to help them love their life more, help them love themselves more, help them love you more, help you create raving fans with those clients and then go and tell all their friends so that you have more clients coming your way. So that is the plan. Today we're going to talk about, last week we talked about rapport and how it's so important to be in rapport with your clients. If someone if someone likes themselves more, then they're going to like you a whole lot more. So we want, we want them to like themselves. And that is going to create that greater relationship between you. And that's going to create um, someone who's more easily to lead along um, on the path to improved health, happiness and vitality. So today we're going to talk about a subject which we all deal with. Um, as trainers, we all deal with the issue of obesity and um, um, clients being overweight. And that's probably most of the clients that come to do a physical fitness program most of them will want to lose weight. So I want to talk on the topic and I'm sort of, when I talk about and I teach about um, weight loss, I teach it from, I say there's four pillars. Physical activity, nutrition, detoxification, which means um, all the internal organs um, working at optimum level. So, you know, the, the right hormones balance, so internal environment needs to be in the right place and space to get the best results. The fourth pillar for weight loss is emotional. So we can't just work on someone's physical and nutritional side if we don't work on those other areas of their life. Now, I'm not going to teach you now in a very short space of time, you know, how to become a therapist. That takes years of work. I'm not a clinical um, therapist. I'm a NLP master practitioner. I'm a hypnotherapist. I'm a Reiki master and I'm a life coach. So I've, I've done um, a lot of uh, therapy work. I've been counselling people since I was 19, 20 years old when I first graduated from the Royal Military College. I was counselling people on uh, relationships, I was counselling them on financial matters, I was counselling them on motivation, I was counselling them on all sorts of things. So I've been doing this for a long time. So we're not going to teach you um, all the specific things, but what I want to do is open up the idea that one of the pillars in weight loss absolutely is emotional. So someone may not lose weight, not because they're lazy, not because they eat too much. That, that is one of the side effects of what they do. But at a deeper level, when we get to root cause, 99 times out of 100, there's some emotional reason why someone is in that place and space. No one really wants to be overweight. No one really wants to be unhealthy. No one really wants to be unfit. No one really wants to, you know, um, look bad in their clothes. No one really wants to look unattractive at a conscious level. And this is a distinction. We've talked about conscious, subconscious mind. At a conscious level, no one wants those things. So why are they, you know, manifesting those things? Why are they experiencing those things? Why is that what they're creating? The reason is because something in the back of their mind, some sub subconscious program is telling them that they need to be overweight um, because it is creating some safety and security for them. Now, there's lots of reasons why that may be. I work with a particular client. She had through her childhood some very difficult um, um, emotional um, challenges with relationships, and that was relationships within her family. So she had a di very distorted opinion and impression about um, love and relationships. So she was very fearful of this thing called love. She was very fearful of deeper emotional relationships. So what she did was created, she, she didn't want to be attractive to the opposite sex so she wouldn't have to deal with this emotional stuff. She wouldn't have to deal with relationships because she was unattractive. So that was her way of dealing with it. So she didn't decide that she wanted to be overweight because she thought it would be great to be overweight. Somewhere in her mind she linked it was um, more painful to be thin than to be overweight because being thin meant she'd have to deal with this relationship stuff, deal with men and she was so fearful of that. 
being overweight, but I don't need to deal with that. So the pain is less than the pain of dealing with relationships. So it may seem distorted for us and confusing for us as we look at it, saying that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense and it doesn't have to make sense. If it makes sense in the subconscious mind, if somewhere in the subconscious mind, the subconscious says, I'm reframed being overweight as a positive product or a positive thing for that individual, very difficult to change it. That's why it's so important for someone to you know, have as part of the strategy for that weight loss something where they deal with that emotional space. So, so important for them to deal with someone who is a qualified therapist or a qualified psychologist or a, uh, an NLP uh, practitioner, a uh, hypnotherapist, any other therapies that is working on the emotional side of why that person is overweight. I remember doing my NLP Master Practitioners course and the therapist we had taken us through that incredible guy. He was able to achieve incredible results with his clients. And he talked about a situation with one of his clients. There's a thing in NLP called eye accessing cues. And depending on where the eyes are looking, left or right, up or down, um, gives us a gauge about what is going on in that person's mind. So this therapist was working with a client who was overweight, wanted to lose weight and wondered why she fluctuated and could never stick to it. Um, and she kept looking over to the side, so he's like, what is this thing that you hear? What do you hear in your ear? What is someone telling you? And what she said was, um, she remembers being very young and she was at this funeral and she remembers her grandfather saying to her, she was a thin girl at the time, her grandfather said to her, you don't want to be too thin, otherwise you'll blow away in the wind. Subconscious mind picks up on that and says, too thin equals blow away in the wind. Blow away in the wind is scary, bad thing, don't want to blow away in the wind. So to stop this fearful, scary, unsafe thing happening, we need to make sure that we have enough weight on ourselves so we don't blow away in the wind. Sound bizarre? Yes, it is bizarre. The subconscious mind has been described as a very intelligent two-year-old, like bizarre how it actually links things up. Don't make any sense to us now when you know we're in our 20s, 30s, 40s, but for some reason that's the program keeps playing. He works on getting rid of that voice, that sound, that impression coming in her, in her ear, changing that thing. And when he changes that, she lets go of that, disconnects this link, she starts being able to lose weight again. Because she hasn't got this little voice in her head which is saying don't lose weight equals pain. Losing weight equals pain. Losing weight equals pain because you'll blow away in the wind which equals pain. Losing weight equals just incredible. So this is the thing I just want to sort of you know get this across to you as trainers that there's more going on than someone deciding that they're too lazy, they want, you know, they want to be this way. There's more emotional stuff happening. So, you know, again, I can't teach you how to deal with this stuff, but I strongly encourage you to form relationships with people, form relationships with coaches, form relationships with um, an NLP practitioner, form relationships with that hypnotherapist, that therapist, that psychologist. So, you know, when you're dealing with someone, you can recommend that they go and see someone to see if there's some emotional thing that is actually stopping them to, from getting the physical results that you want them to achieve. It's a great way to form affiliates. And you promote or you recommend your clients to go and see that person. They recommend their clients to come and see you for the physical training, for example. So it really is a great strategy to build up alliances, relationships with others where you support each other, you bring each other clients, and that is going to increase your client base. And that's what we're about here. We're trying to work with you so you can create raving fans. So when this person, you've helped them by um, recommending them to see someone, they've you know, got a shift happening there, they've come back to you, it's easier for you to get results. They're loving your ass. They think you're the best thing since sliced bread. So they're telling all their friends about how great you are. It's creating more clients for you, taking your business up. Referrals are the best way for business. So there's a great technique strategy for you understanding that with weight loss, there's nutrition, physical activity, detoxification, and emotional, and working on that emotional space and having professionals work with you 
to overcome some emotional issues that may be there that are holding them from back from getting the results you're hoping that they get. Um, the other one was um, detoxification. I recommend that you um, make a relationship or form a relationship with someone who's a naturopath. And there's some great naturopaths out there that can help that person detoxify their body. Because again, detoxifying the body helps the whole system work better. It might be that some of their glands aren't working. Maybe their adrenal gland is not working. That's affecting their ability to have the energy they need to lose weight. Anyway, I'm not going to go on too much further. I'm looking at the time there. I didn't want to go too much longer than 10 minutes, so we're going to wrap up there for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this session. I hope you've got a lot out of it. Any questions, ask down below. Big takeaway from this one, form those relationships with those um, people that work in the emotional space or go and do the training yourself so that you are at the level where you can deal with that emotional thing as well. So do a coaching program. So there you go, uh, fantastic work there. I uh, really enjoy working with you. I really enjoy the difference that you are gonna make with your clients and the change that's gonna make in their lives and the clients that they're gonna bring back for you. So I wish you all the very best. I hope that you have a fantastic week. I look forward to seeing you in one week's time. Have a fantastic week and take care.